Hey guys, what's going on? It's almost 8.30 p.m. and I've just finished a couple of appointments. I still have more tasks to actually be getting on and I have a coaching call with my clients and interesting busy day in the evening. So that's pretty much how my schedule looks like for today. And I did wake up in the evening time. I did sleep by 10.30 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, and uh, yeah, interestingly enough, I actually watched some dark stuff uh, before I sleep and uh, i did wake up in from the middle of the night uh, because i just saw that in my dreams and it's so stupid so you know if you are binging some dark content better not do it because <laughs> it will affect your sleep like it did to me so that's pretty much what happened so far and uh, yeah i'm getting back on my task and i have interesting things to take care of because tomorrow uh, by this time i should already be packing my shit because i'll be traveling to india so that's pretty much the plan i have for now so guys quite an interesting day so far there is something which is happening very funny actually oh i actually recently hired a appointment setter from india and you know i don't personally use a lot of my profile for outbound or anything like that you know i get referrals or people create groups with other friends who need my help and uh, or, or i get inbound from my content or communities other people tag me and i get clients from that but i don't usually do outbound outbound overall so you know uh, there was this appointment that uh, you know i wanted to hire him he wasn't skilled enough to be in any of my full time roles so i told him like hey at least go do this appointment setting thing so you learn few things and overall and you know i gave him a basic script like do some basic research and send the first message a little personalized message so you don't sound scammy because i was putting my profile on the line i usually don't do this but i did this overall and uh, it was so funny he did send like 30 to 50 dms overall um we got couple of responses positive responses and couple of negative responses there was this one guy and uh, here's what happened so he actually took a screenshot of my message and this was our message like hey saw your founder at xyz company love that are you currently focused on getting more clients overall your agency and then he literally said this is why i don't accept you know you know friend requests from people who literally have profile pictures from awards but then uh, that's not enough you know what happened is there was the next stage of the picture where i clearly told him where i'm coming from because um you know like i'll show you the response as well he literally mentioned this to me at what 4:15 and i saw the dm and i literally like immediately responded back like hey excuse me that's my setter and here is what happened overall uh, i get it i won't do it myself i'll make sure that my setter won't bother you you know and uh, yeah just in case if you need just free value just check out my podcast so i gave him like a very simple friendly call to action but here is what he did he actually posted that screen shot on his facebook profile and he said uh, you know like something weird now <laughs> the good thing is actually or maybe the bad thing i don't know i got 72 likes on this post i mean not me like he got 700 likes and 87 comments including my comments overall and there's a lot of drama like a lot of drama people shitting on you know me and you know going crazy i got a lot of engagement overall i really enjoyed it i i played around on this post for like probably 30 minutes and uh, yeah like a lot of people are saying hey you know like he's a good guy <laughs> maybe it's an automated message which is partially true and uh, other people who i know are, are are making fun of this overall in a friendly manner and <laughs> there is john who is the craziest guy i know and he's saying absurd things overall and uh, then there are interesting situations like people like this saying oh i see the same guy maybe thinking that i'm actually fake but then when they get into details then john explained that it is not fake and he told like all that situation he shot videos and stuff like that then in the end <laughs> what happened is john said yeah i think it is working in your favor brother and he sent me a friend request so <laughs> this is controversial marketing one on one actually i don't like or personally want to be involved in controversial type of marketing but when things miss fire right you really want to take accountability for it overall so this is just one example i've had other people who said much more absurd stuff overall like you know for example this guy you know he said hey you know this this looks like literally a photoshop overall and uh, and then there were like i don't know 14 replies overall like look at their engagement it's just going nuts and then john was explaining that i couldn't fly then uh, you know he sent a video of me literally you know taking the award on the stage let's play the video so Yeah like I'll show you what happened this is like my award you could literally see that's me and my cut out and most people don't trust me right like they actually hate me for having that photoshop looked award you know i could actually remove my like 
that Photoshop cut out and put my original image in the edited one and they won't even find it. But I just wanted to keep it original because I got the award as a cutout. I wanted to keep it. Maybe I should change it. I don't know. Because a lot of people from far are not trusting it. And the whole point of having an award is to trust. So he was explaining that, hey, he literally did climb the stage before him and he was a legit guy. And then in the end, uh, you know, he actually like, oops, in the end, he actually kind of gets it and he actually says good stuff about me. I'm getting a lot more friend requests. I'm getting a lot more um, messages overall from that post. But end of the day, the good thing is I actually have corrected myself. I actually has clearly mentioned uh, what happened in the situation. I've elaborated overall that, hey, I had a new setter. There is nothing wrong with cold outbound. Uh, as a person who has generated multi hundred thousand dollars for my own business and helped my clients do millions with cold outbound in unique mechanisms, I don't think there is fundamentally anything wrong with cold outbound. It's just that you don't want to annoy people fully by saying something absurd in cold DMs, you know. And I don't think this is an absolute absurd message. Maybe, you know, again, the appointments that I hired is not so expert. I just wanted to give him an opportunity because I kind of see myself in him so that he could actually, you know, make some money for himself overall by doing this job. And uh, so, yeah, but, you know, like there's a lot of people who kind of hate me and, uh, then they become fans and I, I already kind of see DMs working out well. A lot of people are messaging me back and uh, <laughs> it's so funny. I kind of really enjoyed it, you know. Uh, so, yeah, this is what happens. The guy who actually was skeptic first, then I again, I, I take it very lightly right now. Earlier, I used to take it absolute personal. Now, I just don't care anymore, especially learning from people like John. He's absolutely insane. He don't give a fuck about what other people think. So I was actually joking with him saying, hey, you know, yeah, you're right. I photoshopped it. If you want, I can swap your image. Let me do that for you. Then he was like, no, no, man. I saw the clip from John. Cute idea. Actually, you got the cutout. You know, it's good going. So like this is what happens. You know, like I realized most people who are hating, this is just a common, you know, uh, common thing I observed. Everybody, most people who are hating without knowing or doing the research, they hate me. For a reason because they haven't achieved the success i have unfortunately and i get it if i was in their shoes probably i would be the same but i just have a better mindset i just have a better perspective if somebody is doing better than me who's younger than me i would not be hating on them i would be curious like wow like how did that happen how did you do it and even if you're older it doesn't matter but you get the point which is if you're ahead of me i would love to learn not trash and <laughs> for this reason you know John being John, actually, <laughs> here is what he has done. He literally actually uh, posted, <laughs> again, he is probably the OG when it comes to, you know, like this organic marketing shit. He literally runs a software called Friender and, you know, they have crazy awards and whatnot. Coming back, <laughs> he just posted 56 minutes ago saying, today I saw a whole group of broke people make fun of a 20-year-old guy that's done at least $25 million in sales funnels from one of his funnel from his profile picture classic poor people shit <laughs> that's not me saying it that's john saying it and again i don't usually like to label people with anything but john doesn't give a fuck be like john <laughs> so i like him so much because he is he just doesn't care about anything he just yeah it's just a very different interesting personality type so that's pretty much what happened so far so i learned something new and some, if something is wrong, because I did put an appointment setter who did cold DM, and if somebody didn't like it, I'm not running away. I'm taking responsibility of it, and I'm showing for it overall. I clearly explained the situation, even for him personally in the DM, but he still posted. I don't think he saw my message, but anyway, it doesn't matter. You got to face the consequences when you did it, right? So that's what's happening right now. I enjoy it because earlier, if, if it was the old me, you know, who don't shoot videos, who don't show up for his face, who's just hiding in the bedroom and making the client's money, uh, I would be scared. I would just go crazy. I would go anxious for this type of comments and hate. And uh, but right now, I don't. I don't give a fuck. You hate me more <laughs> because more people are liking me. More people are commenting me. More people are actually coming to me. They are sending friend requests because the same people who were skeptic on that post sent me friend requests. Like I've received like a dozen friend requests and messages, comments right now, and it's absolutely fine. It's working for me overall. And I think controversial marketing is interesting i guess you know no, i'll tell you the reality is guys trust me i have posted 200 plus fucking vlogs on this channel and this channel has like what 60 subscribers what the fuck and you know i spend 
you know thousands of dollars in creating these videos editing them posting them and everything and i don't get views my channel is not monetized this is just pure expense for me i don't care i have money but anyways what i'm trying to say is uh <laughs> i post amazing valuable reels every day like these are actual actionable tips and tricks every day and they barely get like even though they are reels they barely get few hundred views here and there and they barely get any attention or comments but this one controversial controversial post has actually got so many more attention and you know a dozen plus friend requests for me i think i should probably go a little more controversial and again like i've seen this working very very well for the highest of the highest people uh, you know who are in the top digital creator economy like andrew tate for example and other people and they are doing absolute controversial stuff and maybe i should go the controversial route a little bit because it's so easy people don't like people can't digest me so i would rather piss them off a little bit like what happened in this specific image and it's so easy for them to trash and it creates a lot of curiosity for other people some people will hate me but you know what i'm fine with it i don't care so i'll explore a lot more controversial sh stuff overall and i'll try to like embed that more into my content formulas in the future so if i am actually recording a lot more controversial nerdy bullshit content understand that that's not my intention but if that's what is the price for you to pay to get the attention then that's what i got to do you know even though i don't like it sometimes i have to do it because you got to do what you know gets you the best results overall and it looks like other people if they see my award they can't digest it they hate me so i would let them hate me so that i could get more people to see me so that's pretty much what happened so far and it's it's a really fun day overall i just finished up a few client calls coaching call and i have one more call and then i have a few more tasks and that's pretty much the wrap for the day i'll catch you guys tomorrow by this time i should probably in the airport uh, i should probably be in the airport and uh, start getting some you know uh, rest overall and i'll travel from dubai to india and then to my hotel <sighs> that's the plan for now bye bye guys we actually received a message few hours ago that dubai weather is going to change dramatically tomorrow meaning today technically 2nd of may and it's going to be horrific as you could already hear the noise it's kind of getting cliche and i actually have a flight tomorrow i'm kind of fucked up if the roads get blocked like previously if floods come in and my flight get cancelled i'm kind of getting anxious right now because i have my flight exactly in 24 hours and you could see the weather already you know you you could barely see anything you know like you could barely see anything it is tricky it is definitely tricky you could see that white smoke I don't know what the fuck this is maybe that's sand I don't know in the middle of the desert you could see the movement in the canal as well the wind is blowing with high power and uh, lot of clouds I just hope that the floods don't hit fuck otherwise my flight might get cancelled and my whole schedule will be fucked up normally not to see but when you open your mouth you feel it in your mouth fuck <laughs> Guys, we are scared. Something might hit us. We can't see the tip of Port Khalifa. badly even though there is very bad environment i actually recorded few reels right now and uh, i'm actually looking at the situation it's kind of getting tricky let me show you what's happening in the bike like look at that overall it's kind of little bit clearer than previous but you can't see burj khalifa at all like it's vanished fucking vanished that's how much cloudy it is right now and one interesting thing is you see that <laughs> all those i don't know what do you even call them you know because of the blow of wind they're actually falling apart which is insane and it already kind of sprinkled a little bit you could see all the roads are wet but it didn't pour as much as i expected and i hope it's 
it stays like this for the next 24 hours so i could take off from dubai and go back to india for 10 days that's pretty much hopefully the plan in case if it allows me to and all the clouds are moving towards hopefully a different country <laughs> and they don't come to dubai for the next 24 hours thanks clouds bye bye guys it looks decent right now but it still has a lot of clouds as you can see hopefully it doesn't rain today so that i could actually make it to my flight and hope my flight doesn't get cancelled hope when i'm actually traveling to the airport the, the options are available otherwise it would be nuts Dubai is looking brand new. It looks like shining right now because it just had a quick rinse, I would say. And uh, you can see how the look is. And if you observe this construction site, it might not look like if the wind has done a lot of damage. But just look at that shit. That's some wild stuff. Like, <laughs> like you know, most of the stuff is broken. You know, all of that jazz. It's insane how strong the winds are here. And even the pool, you can see it's it's not so clear right now because of the salt deposits, if I'm not mistaken. And all the roads looks shiny and clean, as if they just gusted it right now. Yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. It's almost 8 a.m. I need to pack some stuff uh, to be able to move when I want to without any trouble. And hopefully, hopefully my flight doesn't get cancelled. Hopefully the rain doesn't increase so that I could actually make it to the airport and travel to India. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan as of now. And uh, I'll have some protein, I'll sleep. That's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in today. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Happening, it's raining like insane. I think this is probably the strongest fucking rain I have ever seen in Dubai so far. And uh, I am almost shitting in my pants. I don't like this rain because I'm scared that if the airport is actually filled with a lot of water in the runway, the taking off of flights will be stopped. It's tricky, man. Like, what the fuck? Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm ranting about my situation just like every other time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry, I just already mentioned that. But anyway, I hope this fucking rain stops for God's sake. And bye for today. I, know, I don't know what the fuck to do. It doesn't stop. Exactly what I did not want to see. Fucking roads with full of water so that the travel will be passed. I'm frustrated as fuck now. Once again, this is me, the Nikhil Sai, 19 year old broke dropout, turned millionaire, and running my own marketing agency. I'm just showing behind the scenes on what I'm going through on a day to day basis on Zero to Zillion channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider like, share, subscribe, and comment and watch more of my vlogs on Zero to Zillion. This is me, the Nikhil Sai. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.